This video will outline the steps used in performing arthroscopic TFCC repair using a suture welding technique. The arthroscope will be inserted in the 3-4 portal in order to demonstrate the tear seen peripherally as palpated by a probe and confirm the loss of the trampoline effect. The probe is inserted in the 6 radius portal. A longitudinal incision will be used over the 6 extensor compartment in order to pass an 18 gauge needle across the edge of the tear. Suture will be passed through that needle and then retrieved with either a small joint grabber or a small pointed clamp. The suture will be retrieved being careful not to cut the suture with the 18 gauge needle. Tension will be applied on the first suture in order to allow passage of the second needle if necessary and then passage of a second suture. The suture is similarly retrieved in order to close the defect. Tension can then be applied externally to close the defect and also demonstrate restoration of the trampoline effect. The suture is now ready for welding. The welding sleeve will then be loaded onto the crossed sutures using a J-hook mechanism. A split anvil type mechanism is now being used to allow for quicker release. Tension is applied on the suture as the welding sleeve is advanced into the small incision so that the welding occurs on the floor of the six extensor compartment. The slide lever is released distally in order to expose a button that will weld the suture. One must be careful to drop the hand in order to disengage the J-hook from the suture. The suture will then be cut on the weld in order to avoid prominent suture that can cause irritation. The second suture is now welded in similar fashion. Once the welding is occur, tension should not be applied on the suture in order to avoid delamination. Once the second welding sleeve has been disengaged as shown, we will then check the integrity of the repair after cutting the suture. The 3-4 portal is again used to confirm closure of the defect and restoration of the critical trampoline effect